we are going to be talking in this video about the equation of a line. Lines are very important in in all of math and uh, you'll see in future videos that they are very important in calculus. All right. Um, so in order to do that, let's look at a system, a two-dimensional system of coordinates x and y. And let's consider this point here, whose coordinates are a0 and b0. And this point here, whose coordinates are a1 and b1. All right. Um, we do know that these two points will determine a line. Let's call this line L. Okay. And let's assume that the position of this line is just in this, like in this diagram. For sure, it could be horizontal, it could be vertical, it could be um, on a different slope. Uh, but for now, let's assume it's in this particular position. All right. Uh, so we said we are going to consider the line determined by these two points and Let's take the third point on the line, okay, whose coordinates are x, the x coordinates and y. And we are going to refer to this point of coordinates x and y as a generic point on the line L. Now, if we remember from basic geometry, um, we see that this line L with lines parallel to the x axis and respectively the y axis of the coordinate system determine a big triangle here from this point to this point and to this point is one triangle and from here to here to here is another triangle and again the two triangles are similar so if we write the similarity ratio between these two triangles we are going to get this length which is y minus b0 so y minus b0 over this length which is x minus a0 so y minus b0 over x minus a0 is going to be equal to b1 minus b0 over a1 minus a0. So this is the equation of the line that goes through this point whose coordinates are a0 and b0 and this point whose coordinates are a1 and b1. Alright, uh, now we can actually refer to this particular fraction as the slope of the line. Alright, now if we actually take some points, let's say maybe A0, B0 is the point of coordinates 3 and 2, and this other point whose coordinates were A1, B1, R6 and 3, our equation becomes Y minus 2 over X minus 3 is equal to 3 minus 2 over 6 minus 3. Okay, and this is actually equal to 1 over 3. And this is the slope of this line. And actually, if you look at this particular equation, uh, we can see maybe better than in this slightly more generic equation uh, that the equation of the line really depends on the coordinates of this generic point. Okay, uh, the coordinates of the two points that actually determine the line are numbers and we can just plug them in and we get actual numbers. Alright, so, so far what we did is we came up with two types of equation of a line. Okay, one that's we can refer to as a two-point equation. Alright, and this says that if we've got two points, one of coordinates a0, b0 and another one of coordinates a1, b1 the equation of the line that goes through these two points has this particular shape. Alright, uh, and now, like I said at the beginning of the video, we kind of assume that the line is in this particular position, and um, I'll let the viewer figure out the equation of the line that's um, parallel to the x-axis or parallel to the y-axis. It's very simple. It's just a little bit of a homework for, for the eager student. Okay, uh, now the second equation of the same line, okay, uh, we are going to refer to this equation as the point slope equation. And the point slope equation, it's very useful when we actually have a point, let's say A0, B0 of a line, and we have this fraction, which we call the slope of the line, and it's much better to use this particular equation that actually makes use of the two coordinates of the one point that's on the line and the slope of the line. 